Hi everybody, just a quick video here. Uh, what you're looking at is not a uh, kitchen out of some uh, pastry shop. Um, this is actually my dining room table. And uh, I've got a lot of tin foil uh, trays here with the lasagna method of rooting figs. Um, but what I want to show you today is just a quick video about uh, some updates and um, what it looks like as you do this method of rooting figs. So, hi Blake, yeah. Um, so here, here's one tray. This one was done on uh, June 14th. I've got love on everything. Uh, if you watch some of my uh, other videos, you'll see why. And um, let's see if you can see all that. Just gonna leave the camera alone for a second. You can see a lot of air roots. You can hear Blake talking in the background too. He's just hanging out with me in the uh, the dining room. And uh, so this is done on 214. Uh, it's anywhere from like 20 to 25, yeah, 20 ish days. And you can see a ton of roots here. Isn't that awesome? Okay, uh, this one was done uh, yeah. about a month earlier, and um, you can see, yeah, yeah, isn't that cool? The difference here in terms of growth and development. Um, you can see some roots here in the back corner, and um, Blakey's trying to help me cover these. And you can see a whole bunch of leaves that are out. So, you know, when they get to this stage, I try to open it up um, and keep it cracked so that way the humidity is not too high and, uh, you know, it, it gradually gets exposed to drier air and then it gets acclimated to the, the uh, humidity inside of the house. So anyways, I could probably keep this uncovered in, uh, in about a week or so. I want those guys right there to kind of leaf out before I start doing anything like that. If you look real close over here, you can even see one of them throwing out a little figlet. Uh, that's obviously not going to ripen, but I'm not going to pluck it either. I'll just leave it. Thanks for watching.